name is Karen. I am a personal trainer by profession. But lately, I've also been training women on pregnancy exercises and uh, pre and postnatal exercises. And I'm a mom of a one and a half year old. And I'm going to be a mom of two soon. Actually, I uh, wrote a book to document my whole journey on turning into an Ironman. So an Ironman is a 3.8 km swim, 180 km bike ride, and then a full marathon to top it off, right? It sounds really crazy and it all started from, I guess, my older brother who was the first Ironman in my family. And from there, his postings and everything still always keeps me on my toes and keeps me inspired. Before I became a mum, training for a triathlon, um, it's not easy. So I put in you know, a significant amount of hours of training. Obviously, when a little baby comes along, all that goes out the window. Schedule, what schedule? is no longer my schedule, it's my baby's schedule. Um, so it's just about trying to manage working around that, working around. So I wake up in the morning, I pack my son's bag for daycare. Sometimes my husband sends him to daycare and then um, I'll go off for personal training, one maximum two appointments. So that would take a couple of hours. And then I come back home, I can either get on my, my bike on the trainer indoors or I'll go out for a run and then I prepare food for myself, prepare food for the family. Um, and of course, with uh, the baby around, um, I also had to cut my hours of work a lot, so income has also been halved. Um, but I'm very thankful to have a very good support system. Uh, my husband Gary, who's also a triathlete, he's been really amazing in supporting whatever I do. Uh, my family, my parents live not too far away, so they're always ready to uh, help with uh, babysitting. I don't think it would have been possible to get back into this sport had it not been for the support system that I have. There's still a lot of taboo when it comes to exercising when you're pregnant. You can't carry heavy stuff. That's always the first thing people say to you. But when you become pregnant and you're a mom of a toddler, you have a really heavy, wriggly kettlebell that you need to carry quite often. And uh, I think another one is you need to slow down your exercises. So yeah, like it, it definitely got me some stares on the road. Um, I went running this morning and even my neighbours still stare at me. Um, but I, I also see a change in the community. Like people are no longer criticizing but more like just asking why are you sure you can do that i actually went and got myself certified as a trainer for pre and post natal uh, women for exercise and from there i learned a lot as well about the body about the, the the mother's body and so from what i studied from what i researched myself i realized that you can actually continue um, exercising almost as much as anybody else who isn't pregnant almost like normal it's just that you just need to alter or modify the workout as the pregnancy goes along so of course in the first few months there's always a high risk um, of miscarriage so then you kind of tone down a bit once you go into the second trimester from the course that I go they kind of teach you like the kind of exercises that are suitable for each trimester suitable for pregnant women suitable for postpartum just from this past year of coaching so I, I was quite lucky the moment I, I you know started to sh show show my followers show my supporters that we can actually exercise with um, while pregnant I actually got a few clients who are pregnant clients and I was able to, to coach them and um, yeah I realized that many women who with their culture with whatever they were brought up with um, 
were told not to exercise and when they start to exercise they actually enjoy their pregnancy better because they're stronger they don't get things like their backache lower back pain especially in the later part of their pregnancy um, you know and they they don't get things like gestational diabetes or they're able to manage their their food intake they don't put on way too much weight which is very difficult to lose after after that so all this actually helps them have a nicer smoother more enjoyable pregnancy I would like to think they would enjoy motherhood a bit more because they don't on top of all the challenges that there already is they don't at least they, they are strong enough to go through it.